come out of nowhere and just scream right into the side of the Twin Tower, exploding through the other side. And then I witnessed both towers collapse, one first and then the second, mostly due to structural failure because the fire was just too intense. Mostly due to structural failure because the fire was just too intense. And then I witnessed both towers collapse. Due to structural failure. One first and then the second, mostly due to structural failure because the fire was just too intense. come out of nowhere and just scream right into the side of the twin tower exploding through the other side and then i witnessed both towers collapse one first and then the second mostly due to structural failure because the fire was just too intense based on what you know and i recognize we're dealing with so few facts is it possible that just a plane crash could have collapsed these buildings or would it have required the sort of prior positioning of other explosives in the building? What do you think? No, I, I, my sense is that uh, just one, the velocity of the plane and the fact that there were, you have a plane filled with fuel hitting that building uh, that burned, um, the, the velocity of the plane uh, certainly uh, had an impact on the structure itself. And then the fact that it burned and you had that intense heat uh, probably weakened the structure as well. Uh, and I think it, uh, it was uh, simply the, uh, the planes hitting the buildings and, and causing the collapse. My sense is that uh, just one, the velocity of the plane and the fact that there were, you have a plane filled with fuel hitting that building uh, that burned, uh, burned and you had that intense heat uh, probably weakened the structure as well. As you can see, the, the, the impact on the rescue workers, I mean, these, these people who are uh, heroes in this building that uh, have been impacted by this, the number of people that have been injured, the number of police and fire, fire officers, uh, firefighters that have been injured is just, uh, it's incalculable at this point. Is it possible that just a plane crash could have collapsed these buildings, or would it have required the sort of prior positioning of other explosives in the building? What do you think? No, I, I, my sense is that the fact that there were, you have a plane filled with fuel uh, that burned, um, the, the velocity of the plane uh, certainly uh, had an impact on the structure itself. What perspective can you give us? I mean, there have been these repeated reports that, well, yes, Osama bin Laden, but some think he's been overemphasized as, as responsible for these kinds of events. I know many intelligence uh, people at very high levels who say, listen, you can't have these kinds of attacks without having some state, Iraq, Iran, Libya, Syria, somebody involved. Put that into perspective for yeah, us. Well, I, I'm not sure I agree uh, that um, uh, this is necessarily state-sponsored. Um, it, as I mentioned earlier, certainly has um, the um, uh, fingerprints of somebody like bin Laden.
You served as the commissioner for Mayor Giuliani's Office of Emergency Management. He is always poised to strike again. Immensely wealthy man uh, and a very private man. He has been uh, granted a safe haven by Afghanistan's ruling Taliban movement. Uh, and during his time in hiding, he has called for a holy war against the United States and specifically for the killing of Americans and Jews. He is reported to be able to rally anywhere in the neighborhood of 3,000 fighters for his terrorist cause. He is suspected of helping set up uh, an Islamic training center, uh, in fact several of them, to prepare soldiers uh, to fight in all parts of the world, in particular against the United States. He is always poised to strike again. Immensely wealthy man. And during his time in hiding, he has called for a holy war against the United States and specifically for the killing of Americans and Jews. He is reported to be able to rally anywhere in the neighborhood of 3,000 fighters for his terrorist cause. He is suspected of helping set up uh, an Islamic training center, uh, in fact several of them, to prepare soldiers uh, to fight in all parts of the world, in particular against the United States. He is very elusive, moving from mud huts and tent cities and caves at least three times a week, taking other precautions. The U.S. Uh, tried at one point in time with uh, satellite surveillance to uh, launch an attack on one of his camps, hoping he was there. It turned out he was not. And then I witnessed both towers collapse, one first and then the second, mostly due to structural failure because the fire was just too intense. It uh, just won the velocity of the plane and the fact that there were, you have a plane filled with fuel hitting that building uh, that burned and you had that intense heat uh, probably weakened the structure as well. Uh, and I think it, uh, it was uh, simply the, uh, the planes hitting the buildings poised to strike again. Immensely wealthy man uh, and a very private man. He has been uh, granted a safe haven by Afghanistan's ruling Taliban movement. Uh, and during his time in hiding, he has called for a holy war against the United States and specifically for the killing of Americans and Jews.